thank you that tonight you're striking a match in San Diego, California, that the world will see and will not go out. And we decree it now that the West Coast Rumble has begun in the name of Jesus. It's all available to the person and presence of Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He says, I will give you life and give it to you more abundantly. That you're raising up a company of people who will walk in fire and they'll walk in glory, God. The substance of heaven resting upon their lives. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you one of the things the Lord told me to tell you when I came. I had a, I had a trance. I don't know, I don't know what to, how to, I don't know how to uh, describe what it was. I'll just tell you what happened. I got caught up into heaven at the throne of God, but it was just like a blacksmith shop. One of these old-fashioned blacksmith shops. You've seen them on TV in the old Western movies. And there's, but see, I'm, I, had to, I was stri- restricted at the door. I had to stop at the door, and there's glory smoke, glory clouds just billowing out of this blacksmith shop in heaven. And you can hear the bellows. When it would do that, the whole room would turn a brilliant orange color. Then you'd hear the hammer hit the anvil. Going! And a molten piece of burning metal would fly over my head and go back to the earth and start a revival. And I said, Lord, please show me what you're forging. Wham! Start a revival. Wham! Start a revival. I'm still at the door. Glory cloud everywhere. I said, Lord, please, please, don't restrict me. Let me see what you're forging on your end time anvil. Finally, he parted the smoke like this, and I walked in. And I'll guarantee you, here's what God is doing. Here's what this meeting's about. Here's what the meetings in the days to come is going to be about. God is forging an end time harvest yoke, and he's joining zeal and wisdom together. He's joining the young and the old. And the yoke will not chafe either one. It will be a well-fitted yoke for the harvest. See, if the Jesus movement would have happened way, 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 way back there, if they would have done that, look how far this thing would have been. We can't get where we're going if it's not transgenerational. It says, and the, the, all the people, that you understand that? And, but I'll tell you what, in the, in the shepherd's rod, we talked about a move of God coming to the senior citizens. It would be so dynamic till even the young people will beat paths to, to the convalescent homes and sit there and be taught by the saints of God. Yes! Yes! You know? Somewhere out here is wine country. They say the best wine is that that's been in the barrel the longest. Look out. Do you see the? Yeah, well. But I want, I want you to know something. I am excited about what's going on here. I'll just be honest with you. This is not a flash in the pan. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean that. I've been in this thing long enough to see things come and things go. This is genuine. And it's going to intensify. It's going to spread this away and this way. It's going to go deeper in order to go higher. But it's going to go It's going to lengthen out. But I'm telling you what. God says I'm going to do it. And I mean it. uh, You know. He wants to do it all over our nation. We desperately need it. We desperately need it. Lord we say yes and amen. To the prophetic word of the Lord. That's being released tonight God. The Lord this isn't a flash in the pan. This is something that's going to widen. And it's going to go deeper God. Lord, we received this word about fire on the mountain, God, about encountering you, Lord, about coming into a place of agreement to be friends of God, just like Moses, God. Lord, we say yes to the word of the Lord that's been spoken forth tonight by your prophet tonight, God. How many know the book of Amos says that God does absolutely nothing unless he first tells his servants the prophets? And it says that we will prosper if we will listen to the word of the Lord. And I'm telling you, tonight, the word of the Lord has been spoken forth. 
because there's a father's blessing. There is a prophetic mantle. There is a release that's happening in this room tonight as he's been preaching and he's been prophesying. And what he prophesied was that the zeal of the youth would come together with the wisdom of the ages. And that when that happened, it would be something that would spark that the devil could not stop. Listen, he's my spiritual papa. I know how to listen to what he says. Even with all the amazing stories, I know the word of the Lord when it's spoken. I'm repeating it to you so that you can get what's being prophesied. But I believe we're in the verge of of, of a, a nationwide outpouring of the Spirit. And God's brought you from far and wide tonight because He wants to take you deeper. He wants to take you higher.